Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you do hear a loud kind of humming in the background, that is my heater. And I am so sorry, but it is freezing outside and there is no way I'm turning that off. So um, hopefully you guys are still able to hear me. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out a whole bunch of different mascaras. Now I'm actually going to do this video in two different parts. Um, here tonight I am going to go through and see or if any of them are worthy uh, in me doing a day test for them. That means wearing them to work, seeing how they perform under extreme <laughs> pressure. Um, but they have to pass the test from tonight first. They have to make my eyelashes look really, really nice in order for me to even want to test them further. Um, so tonight we have, let's see, this is from Lancome. This is Monsieur Big Mascara. Um, the next one, and this is a popular one, it is The Shock from YSL. Uh, this I actually received as a birthday gift, but I have heard good things about it. It is from It Cosmetics, and it is the Superhero Mascara. Um, let's see, we also have Makeup Forever, Excessive Lash. And last but not least, I received this, and I believe one of my Ipsy bags, or my, um, Sephora play bags. Uh, this is from Clinique and is their high impact mascara. Um, this also comes with a primer. I'm not going to use a primer tonight because I do want to see um, just how it works on its own because I typically do not use a primer for my eyelashes. So I kind of want to keep everything the same as I am testing them out. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. And this is definitely why I'm coming to you bare faced. Um, I, do, I don't want to have to put each one on and then take one each one off messing up a whole full face of makeup so um i hope you guys do not mind uh let's see the first one we're going to start with let's go ahead and start with this one um it is from lancome it is the monsoor big mascara opening it up maybe all right that is your applicator right there Let's go ahead and apply this bad boy and see how it looks. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so this is the first one. I messed up just a little bit right in here, but that's no big deal. Um, I am really liking the way that my lashes look with this mascara. Um, I think it makes them look long and full, and this is really, really nice. Um, I will say that I am definitely going to have to test this one out, see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, this is going to be one of the very first ones, but I could see myself if this was to last all day long uh, throughout work conditions, I could see myself purchasing a full size in this, um, but my report will be later in the video for that. All right, moving on to the next one. We are going to test out the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Let's see. Okay, I do like the applicator on this. It is right there. Now let's see how this looks on the eyelashes. It's got a it's got a smell to it. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So we have that applied. Um, I like this one as well. <laughs> That is good news. Okay, so I am definitely going to have to give this um, a test on Tuesday and see how this lasts throughout the day. 
Okay, so for the next one, we are going to test out Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. Um, this is the tube right here. Let's open this up and see what the applicator looks like. Ooh, I'm not a fan of that applicator. Ew, and it looks like it got, it's got gunk on the end of it. Can you see that? Mmm, this is not going to be fun. Definitely not my cup of tea. I would not pick this out um, if I was actually in Sephora or Ulta. So... Dipping in for the second time. So this one, um, like I said, I do not like the applicator. I do not like the way my ash my ashes. I do not like the way that my lashes look with this mascara. Um, they look really, really thin. They're not as long as the other two made my eyelashes look. So I would say that the test is going to stop here with this one. I'm not going to give this the full wear test um, just because I have no interest in this whatsoever. Um, yeah, this is a definite no, a definite no. I would not even recommend this at all. Um, so we're going to put that bad boy away and move on to the next. Next one to test is going to be from Clinique. It's the High Impact Mascara. I actually did have my eye on this at one point in time. Um, so I am interested to see how this applies. Oops. Sorry. Um, so this is the wand right here. Now let's just see how this applies on the eyelashes. All right, so this one's not too bad. Um, it would not be my first pick out of the other two that I do like, um, but I will still give this a wear test and see how it lasts throughout the day. All right, so the last one we're going to do um, is actually a pretty expensive brand. It is from YSL. It is the Shock Mascara. All right, so opening it up. Um, Okay, I like the applicator. And this is the applicator right there. Let's see how this works on my eyelashes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? It looks goopy. goodness I cannot believe that this is a high-end brand it oh my oh my god this is ridiculous like let's see if I can bring you in all right look at that they look so goopy oh my gosh they look like I have spider eyelashes yep I am not a fan 
at all of this mascara. Very hard to work with. Very clumpy. Just not my cup of tea at all. I do like the color. I do like that it is a deep black, but that is about the only thing that I like about this mascara. I would not purchase this. I would not purchase this. Hmm. I don't even know what else to say. I'm I'm pretty disappointed for, for YSL hearing, you know, the shock. Everybody was crazy about the shock. Crazy about what? Crazy about spider legs? Crazy about the clumpiness? I don't I don't understand it. <sighs> Do not understand it. I don't know. It's definitely not as bad as the Makeup Forever. I will give it that. So, hmm, do I give it a field test even though I don't like the way it applies? Because it is a popular mascara and see what the results are at the end of the day. Hmm, maybe I'll do that just to I mean, I, I absolutely hated the Makeup Forever. I hated this one. So there's no way I'm going to test this one out. This one, like I said, it being such a prestige brand and the fact that everybody seemed to enjoy this mascara, maybe I will test it out and see how it lasts throughout the day for you guys. But I would not purchase this. All right, so let's go ahead and recap um, I definitely will be testing these out. I'm going to be testing out the Lancome um, Big Monsieur Mascara. Huge fan of that one. I'm going to be testing out the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Superhero Mascara. Um, I quite enjoyed that one. The Clinique. Um, it was okay. Um, I could see wearing this maybe on a light day, so I'm going to test that one out. And I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to test the YSL out just for you guys um, to see how it lasts throughout the day. So these are basically my first impressions. I will wear these to work, um, being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, I will check back in at the end of every day. Um, now, I do work in a very intense um, atmosphere. Um, there's heat. There is water. It's just craziness um so it will definitely be put to the test to see if it lasts all day and i will report at the end of every day uh, and we will see how it goes and i will give you my final thoughts so until then i will see you guys very shortly all right so i am checking in uh the first mascara that i am testing out is the lancome big monsieur uh, mascara I really really enjoyed it when I applied it the first time um, I put it on at 6 30 this morning it is now 4 17 so um, I have worn it for most of the day it was super super hot at work and um, on top of that it is raining today lovely so um, I actually didn't even have an umbrella so I was just walking around that way I could see what it would look like afterwards and Excuse my eyes, I did not get any sleep last night, but so far, I am really, really loving this mascara. It has held up. I do not have raccoon eyes, and I think it is a beautiful mascara. I can definitely see myself um, purchasing a full, <laughs> a full bottle of this mascara. This is an excellent, excellent mascara. I am super, super happy with the results. Okay, so today is day two. I just finished my shift at work. Um, I went in first thing this morning at 6.30 a.m. and it's now late in the afternoon. Uh, the mascara I chose to wear today was the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Um, I really, really enjoy the way that this makes my eyelashes look. I think my eyelashes look amazing in this mascara and held up really really nicely once again there was no bleeding I had plenty of water splashed on my face and nothing happened so I could definitely see myself buying a full size of this mascara and I really really enjoy it so on to the next 
Okay, so this is day three, and I have used the Clinique's High Impact Mascara. Um, this is definitely not one of my favorites. Um, it really just looks like my own lashes, but darker. <laughs> I'm going to bring you in close, so as you can see, it doesn't do anything. There's no extra length. There's, it doesn't make them look full, just it just looks like regular eyelashes um, like I said only darker um, so I would not purchase this this is not one I would actually recommend um, maybe if I was going to an amusement park for the day and I needed something light but just kind of make me look like I have lashes then I would might use this um, but I would prefer my Maybelline um, la mascara over Clinique and I'm sure it's a, a lot cheaper so would not recommend this one um, yeah so we got one more to test and that is the YSL mascara and we will see how that one goes all right so it is day four and I am wearing the YSL mascara in the shock and I'm not happy <laughs> Um, my first impression of this is it was very clumpy. I just wasn't interested, but I did want to give it a wear test because it is such a expensive brand and there was a lot of talk about it and I wanted to form my own opinion and see how it lasted throughout the day. Well, I, I was so embarrassed today. I was so embarrassed because my mascara looks like crap and I kept having to tell everybody, I'm so sorry. This is for my video. <laughs> okay, let me bring you in and show you what this mascara looks like. Oh my God. All right. Let's see. Can you see? I didn't have time to do anything else, so I, was, I just put on mascara today. So it is clumpy. It is wet looking. It did smear underneath my eye. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um but it looks awful it looks terrible this is so sad look at that it it, it looks like i've been crying for <laughs> for hours oh my gosh nope 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 it does nothing for my lashes but make them look awful so i would not recommend this I would not purchase this I have nothing to say about it except for I like the smell <laughs> that's it the smell is nice everything else sucks so bad oh my god never again if I get a sample of this I will be happy to give it away because I will not be using this Okay, so it is the end of the night, and um, I just kind of want to go over this with you guys uh, one last time just to give you my final thoughts, um, and because I'm about to go to bed, uh, I did not put on any makeup. So, uh, once again, we reviewed, where are they, The Shock from YSL, um, Makeup Forever, Excessive Lash, uh, Lancome Big Monsieur Mascara, uh, superhero from is cosmetics and the Clinique high impact mascara so um, I would say my favorite and they are well I have two favorites so my top two favorites are definitely from Lancome and it cosmetics um, I really enjoyed the way that these made my eyelashes look they looked long they look full and I just really enjoyed the way that these performed they lasted throughout the day they lasted throughout all of my work conditions that I have going on and these were a huge plus in my book so I definitely recommend either one of these two I will have the prices linked down below for both of these or actually I will have the prices list down below for all of them um, but these are definitely the top two out of the bunch uh, coming in next um, is the Clinique high impact mascara like I said this mascara is okay it's definitely something I am not drawn to um, if it was a super super hot day and I know I'm going to like the zoo or a 
um, a park or something like that I might throw this on just to make it like I do have eyelashes but it is not something that I will pull for first all right and then the last two they're definitely on the same level I don't like either one of these um, it is the makeup forever and the YSL the shock mascara this mascara makes my eyelashes look super super thin and I do not like the applicator this is no good um, and then the shock <sighs> the shock this one made me the most mad just because of the fact that it is such an expensive brand um, it made my eyelashes look gross okay I looked like I had clumps um, if I accidentally touched my eyelash they would clump together um, it, it uh, yeah it just it is absolutely probably one of the worst mascaras I have ever tried ever um, so, so I will never make a full purchase for these. This is a waste of your money. Do not even try these because you will be so disappointed, or at least I was. So I do not recommend these at all. Don't even bother. It is a waste of your money and you can do so much better than these. Um, so that is it. I hope you guys did like this review. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.